missed the flight. Pick me up on the way back to the airport. Tomorrow I want to share and she was like, no. We're getting in the helicopter. Well, the light here is just something I've never seen like before. The big reason why I wasn't around in January. Good morning. I know I've been away for a while with vlogging, but I'm back and we're going to start today's adventure. Well, actually, in a little bit at the airport, I am heading to Iceland with Dior. Sorry about the messy equipment but and the messy room, but I was packing till late last night. And now it's time to go. And I'm on the plane, as you guys can probably see. Um, what can I tell you? It was a pretty dramatic morning. I missed the flight, which was supposed to be at 8... 8.55. I was pretty upset because today we have like such an, such an amazing itinerary today, but um, I don't stress about those things. I don't like to stress about those things. Things that are out of my control, I don't like to stress about. So I'm here two hours later, got up, just like bumped up on the next flight and it's all good. Let's go to Iceland. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to be on the plane to proceed to the background. inside waiting for the rest of the group to come and this is what it looks like you can't really see much but you'll have to trust me on this one it is amazing this is absolutely stunning you guys i've never seen anything like that look at this around me all the girls from last year's Dior trip are here so amelia victoria naomi and i look at the robes how amazing is this, guys? Look at this. It's amazing. I'm trying to show you the atmosphere of this place, but not to film any naked people because, you know, that's always an option as well. I love it. Honestly, one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen in my life. Okay, guys, like a true Pisces, I could not wait to get in. All the girls are, well, we're still taking pictures, really. Naomi's in water I'm as well. In. I'm in. Yes. We couldn't so wait. Nice so nice. I'm never leaving. <laughs> no, it's so nice. There's no way I'm getting out of Pick me up on the way back to the airport. This is so nice. We look very blue. But we're all in water now. I'm taking some stickies. It's so nice. <laughs> outfit of the night but the light is not really great um, wait I have a better idea I mean the light wise is the same but you can see the outfit better I'm wearing like a total Dior um, cruise runway look wait let's move this and this really really nice cardi and also I'm sorry that this is what it has come to but I realized that in order to see the colors of what I'm wearing it's best to show it to you in the bathroom so <laughs> yeah basically that is what it is. I'm just waiting for Amelia to finish taking pictures and then I'm gonna go downstairs and take some pictures with Alex. I will try and insert some pictures now so that you can see what my outfit actually looks like for real. <laughs> Let's go. Okay guys, we are just leaving the hotel. Amelia is so dressy as well. I love, love, love this. I haven't even got a coat, but... We're getting in the taxi right away. I love this Icelandic style kind of really cool hotel. And this is where we're going for dinner. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm so hungry. Currently, Iceland has the best fish ever. So let's try and test if that's true.
Good morning, same place, but me dressed up a little bit warmer. We are off to explore Iceland's golden circle. If you don't know what it is, you're gonna find out today with me. The weather is like, let me show you. It's very dark outside, let's just say that, and very blue. Dark and blue, but I really am so far loving Iceland. The food is incredible, and I'm gonna take you with me right now. Okay guys, I haven't vlogged much because um, the weather is not allowing it. We just arrived to this place, which is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see, but it's like so beautiful. So far I've loved food in Iceland and this is just insane. These are the most delicious tomatoes I've ever had. They're so good. Mm. Most delicious tomatoes I've ever had. Okay, let's try. Mm. Try the yellow. I want to try the red one now. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. Uh, so we grow one ton a day, three or seven tons a year. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? That's amazing. That's really kind of giving me the heebie-jeebie. Um, yeah, no, Janina, itch. do you know which one is the queen? Um, you see, it's um, the biggest mama. Queen bee, where are you? They all look the same to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This one. Oh wow, it's huge! Oh my god! It's here! Oh my god, it's What is that? Is that honey? Is that honey that they're on? I don't think... Just leaving this place and checking out the tomato jams. Okay, wait. This is the green tomato jam and this is the tomato jam. Has anyone ever tried? Tomato jam. I'm so curious about it. it. Looks pretty amazing. I haven't actually managed to vlog today, as you have probably realized. The weather wasn't the best in Iceland, but we're now at this beautiful dinner. We're so hungry. Are you hungry, babe? Yeah. A million behind the camera. And um, we've ordered. You and I've ordered like basically the same food. Yeah. So we can share more. Food. No. What do you mean share? I said tomorrow I want to share, and she was like, no. No, Joey doesn't share food. Joey doesn't share food! That's true. I don't want to share my food. Anyway, we're about to eat. That's it. No more stories being told. Good times. Thanks for that update. That's okay. Update. <laughs> Good morning. It's a new day. This trip's been like so different to anything else I've ever experienced because I've never been to like such a Nordic country. I've once been to Finland, but it's very different. Um, we're now about to take a helicopter ride. So we're gonna see it from above. And I'm super excited. We just found out we're gonna land. It's so and fall. Uh, we're gonna land on a mountain and a dormant volcano. I'm gonna hold on to you, babe. Yes. Yes. I'm now with Amelia. We're getting in the helicopter. And yeah. it's gonna be amazing, I think. Yeah. It's such a beautiful day. Guys, we were um, flying maybe like for 10 minutes to this beautiful place. Um, it's absolutely, absolutely incredible. The light here is just something I've never seen like before. I'm gonna try and insert some pictures <laughs> now. Yes. And Thank I'm you. so impressed and I really enjoyed the moment so much so that I didn't actually vlog. So sorry about that.
welcome back to the future from what you've just seen. Uh, fast forward several days, I'm back home in my favorite place ever. I just like love getting back home, even though I love traveling. I love traveling the world, it's just so nice coming back from all of that to this place. So, before I start, in case you're wondering about my knit, it's just very, very simple baby pink knitted suit because it comes with the matching bottoms and I got this one from my friend Noor and Monica's collection. I will link it below because you guys should check it out. They have the most incredible pajama collection I've ever seen before and I also have a pair of pajamas which I'll show you later. Where was I? Trip with Dior for the lip glow products which is incredible. Dior launched six new shades in there. Um, lip glow collection and I actually have several favorites which I will talk to you guys soon. I'm actually um, wondering if you're still interested in seeing like favorites of 2017 and um, videos such as best and worst purchases of the year even though I'm one month delayed with all of this. The reason why I'm delayed with obviously um, my <laughs> videos is well there's no excuse but after the vlogmas I had to take in my laptop for repair, like my keyboard wasn't really working, the letter R specifically, and it's kind of difficult when your name is Tamara, so that was a little bit difficult. Anyway, my laptop was at Apple for like 10 days, so finally it got fixed now and I'm ready to get back to it. But when, when I did get it back, I went to Paris, and then after that it was like way too long, so I got out of habit of editing and working on videos if that makes any sense. Anyway, long story short, um, if you guys want to see my face more, you can always do that on Insta stories. I try to speak to you every single day. So I'm always, always, always present on my Instagram, which is at Tamara, in case you're wondering and not following it. Maybe you should check it out. That being said, new Dior lip glow products, love, love, love. My favorite is, um, besides the standard one from previous collection, 001, I love the 101, which is like a bit more matte, pinky, uh, super nude, like a lip glow, lip balm type of product that just smells divine and is really, really moisturizing. I absolutely love it, and I love the holographic one, which is really shiny and a little bit disco. Love it, I think it's amazing, and I wore the holographic one when we were in the Blue Lagoon, so you could have seen that. I'm sad I couldn't show you more of Iceland, but the weather was just really, really terrible during the two days we were there. Um, we couldn't actually go to the waterfall to see the Golden Circle because the weather was so bad and it wasn't really safe. The gazers, when we went to the gazers, it was raining so bad I couldn't even get my camera out, I couldn't even go and see it, how bad it was, so... Yeah, sorry, I couldn't show you that, but hopefully there'll be an opportunity to go and visit Iceland one more time so that I can properly show it to you, because I'm sure you guys will love it as much as I did. I think it's a very, very special country, very different to anything I've seen before, and for that reason I would love to revisit it again. That being said, I have a few things that I would like to show you that I purchased in January. Well, I think I'm gonna film a special haul because I have a lot of things that I would like to show you that I bought in January, but there are three things that I really waited for this video to kind of make it more different. Yeah, so it's not just like a simple vlog. First thing that I'd like to show you is this Dior Cashmere Knit. I love it, it's gray with the uh, Wheel of Fortune in the front. So it's like very, very easy to wear because of the multi-colored multi thing. I love, 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 love story about Christian Dior and about the whole kind of like how superstitious he was. I read the book even before I worked with a brand and um, I was really familiar with his work, with his life, with everything he stands for and that's what really connected me with the brand. I would say I love this, it's a nice cashmere grey knit with all of these colours. At the back it says Matter piece. it has the B and the CD um, embroidered at the back. It's just really really nice and I really love this. I wore it a lot throughout January. Besides that, I also got another knit. I got this kind of like a knit dress which is 100% cashmere as well. It is a turtleneck. I will try and link all of these below if I can find them online. I'm pretty sure I will be able to. But um, just so you guys can tell me what you think. Here we go. Really, really love it. It's just like a knit dress and I wore it a lot, especially during the Haute Couture week and it's so soft and cozy for traveling. So in three days time I'm traveling to New York and I think I will be traveling in this one just because it's so warm and so cozy. By the way, excuse my hair. This is just my natural hair, natural kind of how I normally have it. Um, if I don't actually use any hair dryer and stuff like that, this is how it turns out. 
Um, next thing I wanted to show you is the shoulder strap I got from Dior and this one says Ja Dior in it. It's like multicolored and I really love, love, love it. I actually wore it in Iceland a lot. You could have seen it in my Instagram pictures. I wear it with my burgundy bag. I think it looks really cool. It adds a little bit something special to it. And um, it is a little bit pricey, but I really, really like it. We'll link that below as well. Last but not the least. So January 8th, day after the Christmas that we celebrate in Serbia, my sister told me that she would like to challenge me to kind of like practice my character. We always do this. We always try and like practice our discipline and character. So we challenge each other on certain things. She challenged me. She actually let me choose what I want to be challenged on. So she said on January 8th that I can choose either not to buy any handbags until my birthday, which was March, which is March the 16th, or not to eat any sweets. Now, if you guys know me, you'll know I always eat sweets. Like every single day I have to have something sweet, at least like hot chocolate or... I don't know, like chocolate croissant or almond croissant or something sweet, you know? I just love sweets so much. So she thought, of course, I'm going to choose not buying any handbags for two months. Doesn't sound that difficult, but I had quite a few plans. So I actually had to choose not eating any sweets. So no sweets for me, but in order for that punishment to work, I just have to buy a lot of bags until my birthday because otherwise it wouldn't make sense sacrificing sweets, right? Anyway, next what I'm going to show you, I hope my sister's not going to see it because she's literally going to think I'm crazy, but in my defense, I don't have any orange bags in my collection. So I got this one at a duty free when we were flying to Iceland and I got it um, discounted because obviously Iceland is not in um, European Union. I just love how organized it is inside. It has this like back pocket here and then in the front some compartments as well as here. I really like it. I think it's like already seen, like you've already seen this bag. It's nothing new, it's nothing special, but the fact that it's orange and I don't have any orange handbags, as well as this kind of like grainy um, structure from new collection, I think it's very easy and I think I can even wear it with this shoulder strap. So it will look very, very cool. What do you guys think? The big reason why I wasn't around in January was basically that, that I didn't have my laptop. Not very exciting. And um, I'm back now with two videos per week. I have a lot of content to show you guys. So maybe put up notifications for my videos and you will see me very, very soon. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for your patience and thank you for putting up with me. Love you loads and I'll see you soon. Bye.